What is up and welcome back everyone. It's only been a couple days since we went solo camping in our tent during the winter and it's already time to do some upgrades. So as I said in that video, I did have some upgrades in mind that I wanted to go ahead and do. So that's what we're starting today. We're gonna do our first basic one, um, which is insulating the flooring of the tent. So what we're doing is, there's a couple different ways people do it. They sometimes use um, anti-condensation mats because that's really what you're trying to do, is you don't want condensation on the floor of the tent and then also therefore getting on your mattress. That's why everything's out here um, because it's drying because we did have some condensation because it was really cold outside and when you're in there and it's warm, it, you get a little bit of condensation. So we're gonna try to prevent that. So there's two different ways. You can get um, anti-condensation mats which are like kind of wiry meshes I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them or you can do what we're doing. We're taking some of this reflective insulating um, like foam stuff and putting it all on the floor and that's actually the cheaper way because this is usually you buy this in bulk for like houses and stuff but they make small project rolls which is perfect and perfect size for this so that's what we're going to be installing today um, to install that really easy just using some indoor um, carpet tape because well we're not going to be subjected to like rain or snow inside the tent so indoor tape should work so that's the plan for today. First, we're gonna go ahead, usually you wanna take out your mattress, that's what I already did. And now we're going to take our vacuum and we're gonna vacuum the floor because there's like a bunch of tree branches and stuff in there because, well, it was windy. So we're gonna vacuum that so we have a perfect surface to put the tape on. We'll lay the tape down, um, lay our rolls down, cut them a little bit and we should be good to go. So hopefully today's video is a little bit shorter and it's a really easy way to insulate your rooftop tent for winter camping. So I just finished vacuuming. I actually vacuumed the whole Forester, like the seats and everything. Vacuumed the back because well it was really um, dusty, there was a lot of stuff in it. And my whole car smells like smoke. That kind of makes sense because well we were right by the campfire. But anyways, on to the actual insulation of it. So. Here's a little bit more information of what we're using. So we're using, you guys can't see it because it's now reversed, but it's just small project Reflex-X or whatever. Um, just make sure you have the right square footage for your tent. Your, every tent's gonna be maybe a little bit different. I went with the 40 square feet roll that is um, 48 inches wide and 10 feet long, which means that when we go up here in the car, that means that this stuff can go like this, essentially we'll do two long cuts or two big pieces right here and they'll run all the way down here and cover the whole floor which is great. Um, here's a little bit better of it, essentially it's like a thin piece of bubble wrap, or essentially bubble wrap but it's got aluminum foil on both sides so not only will it insulate, it'll add a little bit more um, softness. I think eventually I will upgrade the mattress in here, I just don't know what to do yet and that one honestly isn't that bad. What that means next is I gotta measure the base and then cut this um, stuff to the appropriate sizes. And then I gotta go ahead and lay all the sticky stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna do all the way around the perimeter and then a big X across because I've got lots of the wrap and it's better to um, st add more of it and not have it fall off than have it fall off when you don't add enough. And then for that, I'm just using um, 3M indoor carpet tape because, well, as I said, we're not um, affected by the elements in there. It's just gonna get cold and the indoor stuff will work just fine for that. I made sure to measure twice and cut once and there we go, we got it lined. It almost lines up perfectly. If we go over here, we can see that I've got the mattress tab so the mattress clip er, still hooks onto here and then that way we um, don't get it moving around on these. We have four points, so one in each corner, so those are all ready to go. And then we have our cut line right down the center where it splits. Um, that lined up perfectly. But I did forget one thing. If you look right there, right here, I forgot these um, arms that go up and hold up the canvas. So essentially, I just went ahead, I made a little cardboard template that I'm now going to use. So this guy right here, this little cardboard template. Um, this is the size of the middle bracket, so I'm just going to put this on each corner and then cut it out appropriately. And then we should be able to stick on our liner. And there we go. We have the whole paneling installed. Well, not installed. It's all cut up now, as you see. Just made the cuts for those, and it sits there perfectly. And then same on this side, so that it barely moves. The line is perfectly in line. So essentially, now I got to install this. Well, pretty much permanently. So what we're gonna do is use that 3M 
carpet um, adhesive, but we're only going to do one side at a time. And I think the side I want to do first is that side because it lines up really well. So let's go ahead, um, remove this side, just roll it up, and then push this one over here and put on that carpet tape. And then we can go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like before we install it. And then we can go install that first piece. <laughs> the first side all done. The hardest part of this stuff is um, pulling off, you guys know if you ever work with double sided tape, the um, backing layer, it's just impossible to get off here, like picking at it or whatever. That probably took me the longest, but once I got it lined up, got the tape on, we just laid down the front end and make sure that it's close to the seam as possible, and then um, laid it down half of it, and then laid it down the rest. Kind of like um, applying um, vinyl to a car, but it looks pretty cool, I would have to say. So yeah, and it also is so much softer than the metal, so once we put the mattress on here, I think it's going to be really comfy, but this is really not even supposed to be comfy, it's just supposed to be um, insulative, and I think it's going to definitely do that, so can't wait to try it out, but anyways, we'll now go ahead and install the other side, which, exact same process, so I'm not going to show you guys, and the other side is done, check this out guys. We got that dialed in, there's all the stuff from the um, carpet wrap, or carpet tape, but check this out, it's dialed in pretty good, um, even like our cuts, our main cut right here, splits off perfectly, like there's barely any room between this, which is perfect, and then we got this whole other side in, and just enough room to get those straps for the um, mattress around, so yeah, this is really nice, actually, you could almost just sleep on this, it's that comfortable, but we'll toss the mattress back on, and I think we will finish up, but... I think this is going to keep a lot more heat in than the um, just the plain steel, or not steel, aluminum honeycomb floor. So I just threw in the mattress, so let's check it out and see how, if any difference we can tell just from the um, Reflect X on the floor. I definitely think it feels a little more cushiony. Okay, that is the sound. And you do hear it a little bit under it. But not too bad, so I think that is going to be perfect for what we want. Just a little bit of insulation on the flooring to prevent condensation. Not so much in the summer, but in the winter when we're winter camping, it'll help a lot with preventing the um, condensation, the freeze, the mattress to the bottom of the floor. Um, I noticed when we packed up when we did our solo adventure, I was noticing there was condensation that we're holding the mattress to the floor, so with this, that should prevent that. And it should also insulate this just a little bit more um, when we do do a heater. So we're going to be building a heater for this very soon. Um, I'm just waiting on some parts, but once we have that, then essentially this is going to be really warm in the winter. Um, and we're not even going to have to worry about having my minus 30 sleeping bag. So that is going to be it for today. So we finally installed the Flectex insulation on the bottom of the tent um, floor, which is great. And I think it will provide great insulation for winter camping. But um, that is going to be it for today's video. So if you guys don't know or um, haven't been following me, definitely check out the previous videos. One I would definitely recommend is the winter solo camping, the previous one that inspired me to do this. So that was our first time taking this out and the Forester out to some of our back roads here in Alberta. Um, and that was awesome. Or if you're curious of how we got to this, um, installing our A or B roof rack and a rooftop tent, we got some videos there too. They're always going to be uh, up top but um, just in case it'll also be on the Forest Service playlist. But that is gonna be it for today, as I said, so as always, peace out and stay humble.